Welcome to Carburetors and More. Okay, here we have a 500 CFM uh, AFB Carter. This is a small top, four and a half inches, what they call the old school. This in here has a vacuum pull-off choke, which it wouldn't, uh, I guess it operates off of a mechanism there. But listen carefully. This one here will be one half of a 2-4 setup. Showing it this carburetor run by itself, totally by itself, and we have another one that we're going to match up that will match up internally, externally to this carburetor that you can run as two fours. We're going to put this for sale as a single carburetor and we'll tell you more about what it came off of and uh, so forth and uh, when in the listing. In other words, we're not trying to tell you that these were originally two fours on some Chrysler Hemi or something. These are two fours clones that we make now this one here, you can put linkage, you can make it pull, or you can make it push. This can be the front carburetor or the rear carburetor. Okay, she so got a vacuum line here. Here's one here you can use for your distributor. It has one over here. Now we can set this thing up with the pull-off choke, manual choke, no choke, any way you want. We can do either carburetor like that. You understand that? Okay, put her in gear. Let's put a load on. It's a big, 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 big time load here. Okay, here we go. And if you've seen any of our videos, you'll know that that system back, hydraulic dyno brake back there, will put a load on it just like you're driving down the road. On we put a lot more load on there than the car has ever expected to pull just to see what it will do. No problem at all doing 500 foot pounds. Okay, this test is done.